हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे नाइन ऑफ 100 मोस्ट आस्ट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज गाइस दिस इज डे नाइन ऑफ 100 मोस्ट आस्ट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस 40 क्वेश्चन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर ओके सो गाइज विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स बिगेन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे इज what is cdp this is your first question for today and this is question number 41 so what is cdp guys cdp stand for cisco discovery protocol cisco discovery protocol you can say cdp is a cisco proprietary protocol as well right cdp is a cisco proprietary protocol and it is a layer 2 protocol as you can see over here it is a data link layer protocol data link layer protocol means layer 2 protocol either you can say it is a data link layer protocol or you can say it is a layer 2 protocol that is developed by cisco system right so cisco system developed this protocol cdp what is the use of this protocol cdp so guys cdp is used to share information about other directly connected cisco equipment so suppose we have two router r1 and r2 right cdp is used to see a directly connected about uh, cdp is used to share information about other directly connected cisco equipment so r2 will share one cdp message to r1 and that cdp message will carry information about this router about r2 so this is very helpful protocol for trouble shooting so cdp is very helpful protocol for trouble shooting right network administrator use this protocol for trouble shooting and by default cdp is enabled on cisco devices right by default cdp is enabled on all cisco devices so these are the point you need to keep in mind maybe your interviewer can ask this question as well right so many time interview is asking this question not much important but yes important so that's why i mention this question is this series in 100 question right because many time interview is asking this question okay so guys now let's move on next question and next question is this one this is your very very important question this is vvi many time interviewer is asking this question many time network engineer face this question in interview right so you have to share your proper answer if interview will ask you this question what is the purpose of creating vlan what is the purpose of creating vlan guys vlan stand for virtual local area network as you know vlan is used to divide broadcast domain vlan is used to divide broadcast domain so main the main purpose of creating vlan is broadcast control broadcast control is main purpose of creating vlan so by default all port of switch belongs to a single broadcast domain with the help of vlan we can divide broadcast domain one broadcast domain into multiple broadcast domain right so suppose we have one switch with 24 port with 24 port so 24 ports are belongs to a single broadcast domain right so this is one broadcast domain so we can with the help of vlan we can divide broadcast domain on single switch right so this is the main purpose of creating vlan is broadcast control after that a vlan is helpful for organizational use mainly because it can be used to segment a large network into a smaller segments right so suppose we have one large network with the with the help of vlan we can perform segmentation as well we can divide a large network into multiple small segment as well right so after that vlan can help to reduce cost as well right otherwise if you want to divide a broadcast domain you need router you need layer 3 device right so with the help of vlan you can divide as well okay so it will reduce cost as well vlan can help to reduce cost improve network security as well network security and performance right vlan improve improve performance provide easier management as as well as 
ensure network flexibility right so suppose we have one building okay there is three floor and uh, on this floor there is one switch on this floor there is one switch and on this floor there is one switch suppose here is manager of this company right who is connected to this switch on VLAN 10 so this manager can physically move on top floor as well right because on this switch I had created VLAN 10 as well right so manager can attach their computer through this switch as well on VLAN 10 and they will able to communicate in network fine so these are the advantage of VLAN or you can say these are the purpose of creating VLAN so this is very important question my time interview is asking to network engineer okay now let me move on next question and next question is how to delete VLAN information on a switch okay, this is a tricky question this is a tricky question many time you will you will face problem to answer this question how to answer how to delete VLAN right so actually understand guys VLAN information is not saved in running configuration or startup configuration of the switch right VLAN information is not saved in running configuration or startup configuration it is saved in a separate file that is vlan.dat file in the flash memory of the switch right so vlan database will store in a separate file that is vlan.dat file and vlan.dat file will store in flash memory of switch right so if you want to delete vlan on switch right to delete the vlan database from flash memory we need to run this command delete flash after that vlan dot that name of your file right so this is the command you will use to delete vlan on switch right so this is very tricky question right interviewer can ask to you so you have to keep in mind how to answer fine now let me move on next question and next question is what is inter vlan routing okay so this is also important question this is also important question you can say ddi question right many time interviewer is asking inter vlan routing as well right so what is inter vlan routing okay when when the host from one vlan wants to communicate with host in other vlan the traffic must be routed between them between them this is not than them okay so this is known as inter vlan routing actually what i am trying to say okay read this this line inter vlan routing is a technique that is used to make communication possible between two or more vlan right so inter vlan routing is a technique which is used to make communication possible between two or different two or more different vlan guys suppose a host of vlan 1 wants to communicate with a host of vlan 1 right so this is this is not routing this is switching right if we have one switch and here is one computer here is one computer here is one computer suppose this all port are belongs to vlan 1 so if this user want to communicate with this user this is switching when this user will communicate with this user this is switching because this is intra vlan switching right this is intra vlan communication this is intra vlan communication but if a host of vlan 1 wants to communicate with a host of vlan 10 so this is inter vlan communication right this is inter vlan communication so here we need Oh, here you we need to perform routing so this is routing right when a host of vlan 1 will will want to communicate with host of vlan 10 so this is routing right so intra vlan communication means routing and sorry inter vlan communication means routing and intra vlan communication means switching right intra vlan communication means switching and inter vlan routing means routing so you can see how to answer in interview if interview will ask you to explain inter vlan routing so when a host okay when a host from one vlan wants to communicate with 
with host in another vlan the traffic must be routed between them this is them okay this is known as inter vlan routing and you can say inter vlan routing is a technique which is used to make communication possible between two or more vlans inter vlan routing can be achieved by creating svi and or you can perform inter vlan routing by using router on stick as well so you have two option to perform inter vlan routing first one is sbi and second one is router on a stick okay so this is 40 question number 44 let me move on last question of the day this is your last question and this is your vvi question right what is the difference between isl and i triple e 801.q 801.q is also known as by dot 1q also known as by dot 1q this is short name of 801.q so this is very important question by the way many time network engineer is a uh, interviewer asking to network engineer right what is the difference between isl and dot 1q protocol so guys to form dynamic trunking right to form dynamic trunking between two switch we need a protocol any things which will happen dynamically automatically right so there will be one protocol will be running behind the scene right so these these two protocol are encapsulation protocol to form trunking right so now let us discuss what is the difference between these two protocol isl and 801.q so to achieve trunking on trunk ports either we need to use isl isl is inter switch this is inter switch link or i triple e 801.q or you can say dot 1q right so you have to encapsulation protocol to for trunking dynamically right and what is the difference between these two protocol so here is your difference isl is cisco proprietary protocol and dot 1q is the open standard protocol first difference right first difference is isl is cisco proprietary and dot 1q is open standard now in isl the original frame is encapsulated with 26 byte header and 4 bytes fcs which makes total 30 bytes of overhead so 30 byte extra information will add with your actual data if you are using isl if you are using isl how many extra information will add 30 bytes extra information will add with your actual data but if you are using dot 1q then only 4 byte tag tag is inserted into the frame right so only 4 byte extra information will add with your actual data so that's the reason why we are using dot 1q most of the time right we are using dot 1q okay first one is first advantage of dot 1q is it is an open standard and second one is it will add only 4 byte extra information with frame okay so you have to keep in mind this point if you are preparing for network engineer this is your very very important question so guys that's all for today this is your last question for day and uh, we will meet soon in next video with five more question till now guys stay safe bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking bye bye